Today I'm going to walk you through installing all of the different mods that we have on the sugar-coated Minecraft 1.10.2 modded server. It's a fairly simple process, but if you've never messed around with mods before, this will teach you exactly what you need to do. So firstly, everything you need is going to be in the description box below, the website address where you can find all of the links to everything that you need, the server IP, let's get started. So first, you're going to need Forge. It's the first link that's included in the topic. You're going to basically want version 12.18.3.2171. That's the version that the server runs on. So go to Shovel Downloads and then look for 2171 and that's the one that you're going to want to install. You're going to download the installer. You're just going to have to sit through this page if you don't have ad blocker, there's going to be some ads here, but don't worry about that. Wait five seconds, then click skip in the top upper right hand corner, and that's going to download. Once that's finished downloading, depending on what browser that you're using, you'll generally have to click keep or save file or something like that. So unless you've changed the directory for where you, your download is saved to from your browser, you're going to be able to find it just in your downloads folder. So basically, you want to run that going to take a second to load and you're going to install client. Now Mercurius you can choose to select it, you can choose to not. I will just because it gives information to Forge how to better update their client. So then I've already got this installed but you click OK and it's going to take a second to install all the files. Once you've done that you can load up Minecraft. and it's going to create a new profile you called Forge. You can click on that and to make sure that it's selected the right Forge version, you're going to go down to use version and then select the one that you've just downloaded. Save your profile and play. Now that we know this is working, you can simply close that down. And now we're going to move on to all of the mods that we have. Some mod authors will allow their mods to be distributed in mod packs, but some of them don't. So I've done most of the hard work and bundled up all of the mods that are allowed to be distributed into one zip folder here. Now, if you click on that, it'll take you to a Dropbox link, and then click on download. This has probably 40-ish mods in it, I'm not sure on the exact amount. But that'll take a couple minutes to download. While we're doing that, we can get started on downloading all of the other mods that aren't allowed to be distributed. Basically, all of the ones that have been highlighted in green are the ones that we need to download separately. All of the other ones are just there for reference in case you want to find out more. All of the version numbers are beside the mod. Make sure you download the right version, otherwise there may be problems with incompatibility. So I've already got all these downloaded, but I'll take you through a couple just so that way you know what you're doing. So first we're going to download Binds of Play. Now this says version 5002109, so we're going to make sure that we get that version. Make sure it's for 1.10.2. And now this version just happens to be the latest, but if you're looking at this at a later date and there's an updated version, just click show all downloads and then click on the one that you need. We're going to download the universal file. And now that will finish downloading and we'll download the next one, which is Cora Util. This isn't a mod per se, or a mod that something else relies on in order to run. So this is on the Curse Forge page. And we're instead going to go to files, and then this said to download version 119. So that just happens to be the latest one. So we're going to download that one. And then click download. And make sure as these are downloading, you click on keep file. Just like that. And now we'll download the next one. And this is version 3.10.1. Most of the mods linked are on either Curse or CurseForge, and some of them are on the official websites. This one, we here, here we go to other downloads. 
And this one was version 3.10.1. So we're going to click on this one here and then the download will begin. Now I've already got that so I'm just going to close out of that. Now as well as the core mods that are needed in order to play on the server, there's also a list of optional mods. These include Optifine, better FPS, a minimap mod, just enough items, what am I looking at, inventory tweaks, and one that I personally really like is ambient sounds. For the minimap, I am using journey map, and basically everyone else who uses journey map on the server, the area that they explore will also update on your journey map. These are all the files that we have after downloading all of the mods. Now you can find your forge installer file and you can just delete that for now. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find your .minecraft folder. Some of the ways that you can do this is type in percent app data percent hit enter and then it's going to take you to your app data roaming and then you go to .minecraft and then your mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder you can just easily create one but forge should have done that for you already. So here we have our two windows. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag in the zip file called sugarcoated minecraft mods. This is the bulk of the mods that are on the server and I'm just going to extract that. And that there is then the majority of the mods that we need. I'm going to go ahead and then just delete that zip folder and then we just need to copy over all of the other individual files that we downloaded. Now most of what you have will be jar files, but there is lucky blocks that will be a zip file. Just leave this as a zip file, it does not get unzipped. Optionally, if you did also download ambient sounds, that will also be a zip folder, but also don't extract that one. Now we can start up Minecraft again and make sure that it loads with all the mods. If you ran into any issues, first check to make sure that you did download the correct versions for all of the mods. Make sure you download all the mods that are highlighted in green. They're the ones that you need to download separately. And if you're still having issues, feel free to comment either on the video or more conveniently for me is comment on the forums. I should be able to help out with any issues that you have. That's all that I really have to show you guys. For me, that's going to load up fine and I'll be able to connect to the server. The is in the description and hopefully I'll see you there.